November Well, gosh, about seven stations. I think there was a November 4? November 5. November 5, that's what it was. Go ahead. Give me your call sign slowly, phonetically. Sure. This is November 5, Julia Echo Delta. November 5, Japan, England, Denmark. Operator here is Chuck, Charlie, Hotel, Uniform, Charlie, Kilo. And I'm located in Northeast Ohio. Northeast Ohio. You have a very nice signal on your end, very nice audio on your end. So uh, back to you, I believe it's Kilo Charlie 9, Victor, Kilo, or Uniform Kilo Victor. But please correct me if I'm wrong. Back to you. Roger, it's uh, Victor, Kilo Victor. Uh, and uh, looking at your audio, uh, just uh, curious, you could uh, use a little fattening if you might be interested. Uh, what radio are you running, sir? I'm running uh, uh, ICOM 7300. All right, I've got uh, somebody wanting to uh, tune up on a, a frequency that's in use. Uh, please do not tune up on an active frequency. Go, uh, go three up, three down, or, or further, <laughs> but do not uh, tune up on an active frequency. So, uh, Chuck, uh, do you, uh, what is your situation as far as your uh, compressor? Usually we recommend about a three on the uh, compressor. Engage the compressor at about a three. Roger. Uh, Roger, mine's about a one. Yeah, I, I would move that up to about a three. At a three, it will be unnoticeable, and that's the whole idea because you don't want, you know, a bunch of compression just sucking up all kinds of things uh, around you, and then the cat and dog fighting, and the wife uh, beating the kids in the back room. Uh, so a three uh, keeps it, uh, you know, starts the fattening process, but it's not really a, an excessive uh, level. Roger. Roger. Can I have your name, please? Roger, your name here is Jim, Juliet, India, Mike, and uh, this is KC9, VKV, and we are located near Louisville, Kentucky, just across the Ohio River from uh, downtown Louisville. Roger. Oh, Roger, I know the Louisville area fairly well. Uh, took Army basic training many, many decades ago at Fort Knox, Kentucky. So, yep. Those were some, some memories. Most of them good. Some of them not too good. Uh, okay, back to you, Jim. Roger, Roger. So if you wanted to, to uh, the fattening up, uh, we would start with the compressor at a three. Okay, let me uh, let me do that right now. This is Kilo Charlie 9, nine Victor Kilo Victor, the QSO Vlog uh, Network for Friday afternoon. And we're with uh, Chuck uh, right now as he's uh, working on his uh, 7300. All right, Jim. KC9, Victor Kilo Victor, N5JED. It's on three now. Do you notice any difference? Uh, just a little bit, but uh, the whole idea is just the beginning of it, uh, uh, the fattening process. The next uh, uh, thing would be to go to your ALC uh, with uh, one hand on your mic gain and adjust your ALC to where the meter is running mid-scale to two-thirds. Again, uh, go to your ALC with uh, one hand on your mic gain and adjust the mic gain to where your ALC is running mid-scale to two-thirds. All right, we'll do that. Uh, all right, making any difference? Uh, working on it there. Are you uh, now when you talk, uh, look to be sure that you're running that. Uh, you know, uh, the sweet spot is uh, halfway between mid scale and, and two thirds. Roger. 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 So uh, tell me about your antenna system, and let me hear your audio. Okay, the antenna system is a is a Buckmaster off-center fit dipole. It's up about uh, 11 meters, 33, 35 feet. Uh, uh, 8 meters. And uh, it's a very good, probably many, many dipoles, but I didn't make this one, but it works very well. And the, it's a quality product. Uh, and, and the... Um, uh, the power I'm running right now is about 300 watts. 
300 watts on an Ameritron ALS 606S uh, amplifier. So back to you, Jim. Uh, Roger that. And uh, do you know uh, how to get to your tone control, the EQ? Uh, no, I don't know how to do that. All right, take notes. Uh, when you find your tone control, uh, what you want to do is increase your uh, top end EQ by about uh, 3 dB. Uh, 3 dB hotter than where you currently are on your top end uh, EQ, your tone control. I think they call it your treble control. Roger? Okay, treble. Yep, yep, I, know. I, I can find that easy enough. Roger, Roger. That'll put you a little brighter, and that will help out a whole bunch uh, when you're in somebody else's noise level, uh, because uh, without uh, brightness and articulation in your audio, uh, when you're uh, battling uh, noise neck and neck, uh, if you don't have a definition in your audio, it just becomes, uh, you know, you can hear the voice, but you can't uh, perceive the words because they don't have, uh, you know, very much uh, articulation on the on the curve. So with a little brightness, that uh, really helps out a great deal on uh, folks being able to uh, hear uh, what you're saying. Roger? Okay, Roger. It all makes sense. Uh, we'll give it a try. We'll see what kind of reports I get. And I do appreciate the, uh, the information, Jim. Uh, thanks very much. And, and you, I was listening before the previous few, so you said we can look this up on YouTube under QA. Cuso Vlog, or is it, is it, uh, Cuso Vlog, Cuso Vlog, or is it something else, Jim, over? Uh, it's, uh, go to YouTube and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, and that will take you to our Cuso Vlog page. So uh, you do a call letter search for KC9 VKV once you're at YouTube, and that will take you to our QSO Vlog page. And uh, when you get to that page, uh, you'll be looking for one specific uh, entity called My Group Air Check 11. 819. Today's date. My Group Air Check 11 819. Roger. Roger. That's uh, pretty clear direct. Look under your call, YouTube, look under your call. Uh, it'll then look for QSO Vlog and then look under my group here, check 11819. Did I get it correct, uh, Jim? Over? Yes, sir. That's that's perfect. And uh, you should be able to uh, copy the mail on that, and uh, then you'll uh, you'll hear a little bit of uh, what we did. And uh, uh, then when you uh, get to your EQ, you know, the main thing is you know ch consult your owner's manual and become familiar with that. Uh, and uh, what I would do, I would write out a cheat sheet about uh, how to get to uh, certain things uh, like my EQ, uh, my well, my tone control, as they call. Uh, also, my uh, ALC, which you know how to get to there, and uh, you know your mic gain, and you know how to get to there. So, uh, you know, just uh, write those uh, cheat sheets down. So, uh, when it comes push comes to shove, you can uh, you can get to where you need to go, and without having to read the whole book, Roger. Okay. Well, thank you uh, very much for the uh, for the information. And uh, every every day when you get up, you don't know what you're gonna find out new, and I found out a few things new today. So, appreciate the, appreciate the QSO. And what is my, uh, uh, could you give me a signal report? What is, uh, uh, am, am I uh, coming in pretty clear to you, Jim? Over. Well, unfortunately, I've got some poor lost soul out there that uh, just uh, consistently wants to tune up on this frequency. And I've asked him very nicely if he might move off uh, an active frequency and go s elsewhere to tune up. But apparently, uh, you know, he, he can't um, grasp that. But anyway, uh, your signal... Uh, Chuck is uh, 10 over my noise level. I have to give it to you like that because uh, I run a very reduced RF front end uh, to the point that I could never give you a, a real uh, ask me to reading, but I can say that you are uh, 10 dB uh, over my local noise level, Roger, which is a nice signal. Well, Roger, Roger, Jim. Thanks very much. And you are likewise. You're probably 15 over on my, on my uh, S meter. Okay, won't keep it. Others probably want an opportunity to pick your brain as to how 
how to improve their their uh, their modulation. So all the best to you and yours, and uh, thanks very much again. Kilo Charlie Nine Victor Kilo Victor November Five Juliet Echo Delta saying seven three. All the best and back to you for the final. Roger, Roger. Uh, this is uh, KC9 DKV and the uh, Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Network. And uh, uh, thanks so much, uh, Chuck, for joining us. Uh, if you get a chance, uh, maybe join us next uh, next Friday. And we'll uh, compare notes and see what you've been up to. And if you have uh, found your EQ by then and how to adjust it, then we'll uh, we'll take a listen and uh, maybe offer some suggestions. Well, I think you're going to crank in about uh, 3 dB more top end EQ. Our treble control uh, once you uh, you know find the way to San Jose there and uh, then we'll uh, give us a shout next Friday and we'll see what it sounds like I think it just should sound just beautiful uh, this is a KC9 VKV and this is the Friday afternoon QSO vlog network if you've got a radio you want to check out give us a shout KC9 VKV